Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, SpaceX, Starship SN11, Blow Up Explained. Also, Lilium ramps up business profile. And Pipistrol UCAV will utilize Honeywell to provide NAV sensors. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Elon Musk explains why his SpaceX Starship SN11 blew up. On Tuesday, March 30th, SpaceX launched its fourth high-altitude flight test of Starship from Starbase in Texas. Similar to previous high-altitude flight tests, Starship serial number 11 was powered through ascent by three Raptor engines, each shutting down in sequence prior to the vehicle reaching off G, approximately 10 kilometers in altitude. SN11 performed a propellant transition to the internal header tanks, which hold landing propellant, before reorienting itself for re-entry and a controlled aerodynamic descent. Shortly after the landing burn started, SN11 experienced a rapid unscheduled disassembly. Now, we know why. Because Elon, with his characteristic transparency, told us ascent phase transition to horizontal and control during freefall were good. A relatively small CH4 leak led to fire on engine 2 and fried part of avionics, causing hard start attempting landing burn in CH4 turbo pump. This is getting fixed six ways to Sunday. The next Starship to be flight tested will actually be SN15, which reportedly utilizes hundreds of upgrades and improvements and is expected to be an altogether different beast and possibly one to be the first to complete a full test cycle. Coming up after the break, Rhode Island signs participating addendum with drone up. More news after these messages. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Rhode Island signs participating addendum with DroneUp. DroneUp and the state of Rhode Island have signed a participating addendum for unmanned aerial vehicle services. This begins the offering to purchase complete drone solutions to all state agencies, commissions, political subdivisions, institutions, and local public bodies allowed by law. The award is the first of its kind for the drone industry. DroneUp was awarded the Unmanned Aerial System Services Master's Agreement, Hashtag E-194-79435 by the Commonwealth of Virginia in August 2019. Vertical Flight Society announces 2021 award recipients. The Vertical Flight Society has announced the 2021 group recipients of its prestigious awards program. Since the establishment VFS award program in 1944, they have paid tribute to outstanding teams in industry government and academia working on vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, serving as a catalyst for stimulating technological advances. This year's winners will be recognized virtually during the 77th annual VFS award ceremony premiering on Wednesday, May 5th at 2 p.m. 
Rocket Lab inks deal to launch five missions for Black Sky Constellation. Rocket Lab will launch multiple missions to low Earth orbit for Black Sky, a leading provider of real-time geospatial intelligence and global monitoring services. The multi-launch agreement will launch services provider Space Flight Inc., who will manage the integration and launch services for Black Sky. It includes the launch of nine Black Sky satellites across five electron missions this year. The deal represents the largest number of satellites Black Sky has committed to a single launch provider to date. Next week, Sun and Fun digital daily coverage all week long. There will be no airborne unmanned episodes next week as Aero News takes the whole crew to Lakeland, Florida for the annual Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo. We are Sun and Fun's media partner for this event and will be undertaking a program called the Sun and Fun Digital Daily each day at the event. You can read and view each day's exciting news at the website you see on your screen. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Lilium ramps up business profile, talks up Seven Seater. Lilium has entered into business agreement with Kill Acquisition Corp. Upon closing of the transaction, the company will be called Lilium. In concert with the business news, Lilium is talking up their seven seat Lilium jet program. The Lilium 7-seater jet has a projective cruise speed of 175 miles per hour at 10,000 feet and a range of 155 plus miles, including reserves. It is the culmination of five years of technology development across four generations of technology demonstrators, including Lilium's full-scale 5-seater. Lilium applied for concurrent type certification for a high-capacity aircraft with EASA and the FAA in 2018. Development of the seven-seater Lilium jet began in stealth mode following this milestone. In 2020, the seven-seater Lilium jet received CRI A01 certification, basis from EASA. Lilium has developed, tested, and refined their ducted electric vectored thrust technology along with key control systems, aircraft, and battery architecture. DEVT technology reportedly enables Lilium to scale to higher capacity aircraft and keep noise emissions and ground footprint low. After the break, Pipistrol will utilize Honeywell to provide navigation sensors. Details after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Pipistrol UCAV will utilize Honeywell to provide navigation sensors. Pipistrol has selected Honeywell's next generation attitude heading reference system and air data module for its Nuva V300 cargo UAV. The technologies provide critical navigation and motion sensing data and will work in tandem with Honeywell's compact fly-by-wire system on board the aircraft. 
if the fly-by-wire system operates as the brain of the aircraft's flight controls, the altitude heading reference system and air data module act as the heart, supplying critical motion data to all avionic systems and many mechanical systems. Both the AH-2000 and ADM are enablers for efficient vehicle operations with potential to serve several flight applications. NUVA V300's groundbreaking operational concept requires highly accurate, dependable, and robust navigation sensors, and the AH-2000 and ADM are key enablers for this functionality, said Tina Tomazic. Chief Technology Officer Pipistrol. Pipistrol Nuva V300 is intended to be a long-range, large-capacity, autonomous UAV. It will reportedly take off and land vertically with battery power and at lower operating costs than helicopters. It can carry loads up to around 1,000 pounds for more than 186 miles. Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly King. Make sure to follow our YouTube channel and you can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV too. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.